the Daigo parries come out. Oh, that, that's going to be <laughs> that, so hype. That would be so hype. It, like, I can I can see it now. It's like two years from now, just someone someone like tries to do a multi hit and you just see the Daigo parry come out. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they're getting reversal. And then like a Shoryu just comes out. Yeah. yeah. We'll see how this goes down. Yoshi Freak and Nezergy. Nezergy. I'm assuming it's Nezergy. Yeah. They're gonna go to PS Stadium. Uh, Pokemon. <laughs> oh, this is PS Stadium. Pokemon Stadium Two as the first part. Yo, yo, uh, Game and Watch. I'm about it. Make sure you change your tire. Oh wait, no. Yoshi Freak. Wait. Wait, I know that tag from All Is Raw. Holy crud! That's been so long. Everyone is here. He was he was actually a really solid game and watch way back in the day. It's crazy to see him around now. In the brawl days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think. Uh, I, don't uh, know, I don't know who Super Supermoto is probably fallen because he likes Robin. But Ido didn't change his name, so I hope he realizes that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ido didn't change his name, which is, yeah, a, a bit of a, a problem. But I'm sure he'll realize it halfway through once uh, an input error comes out. But anyways, as we as we move on, let's see how this goes down. K. Roll, uh, interesting choice. Um, as soon as the game came out, people were like, man, this character is stupid. Yeah. Now, now that it's been like a couple of weeks, everyone's like, okay, okay, okay I, think, I think I figured out how to play against a K. Roll. You just, gotta, you just gotta be aware of those armor situations as an extra option, basically. Yeah, yeah, like, you have to actually respect him. He's not just a sandbag, big, heavy character like everyone was hoping he'd be. Yeah. The the, the degree of the 180 that happened about K. Rool, where people were like, oh, this character's trash. Like, just based on the character reveal trailer, we didn't even know anything about how he worked, into, like, what people were saying about him when he came out was great. But immediately, uh, that K. Rool back, air, back throw is gonna take out Game & Watch uh, with a super lightweight. Yeah. And it's, it's interesting to watch how, like, Nezergy is playing right now, because he's playing really reserved in the back line. He's not looking to create any opening at, at all. He's really counting on uh, Yoshi Freak for the most part. Uh, so I think they must have some sort of synergy they're hoping to pull off between the two of them. Ooh, that was a good attempt, but still able to get those juggles. Game & Watch still kind of similar to how he is in Smash 4, except that Fair kind of throws people off, I think. Because yeah. they're trying to get like a follow-up, and then like the Fair and the Bok comes out, which doesn't really explode until later. The the biggest relevant difference is that his up smash has lost a significant amount of invincibility. It's only invincibility when the hitbox is active now, uh -huh. uh, which means you don't need to respect it nearly as much as you had to back in Smash 4. But in exchange, everything else he had got tight enough, got way more value on it. Right. Ooh, and a down air, too. All yeah. Right. So, uh, looks like a red team is still in very slight lead. Robin doing... Robin. Paul is doing a good job of uh, taking those stocks. Yeah. And still having uh, another Thoron ready to go. And just like that, another stock shredded off from the green team. It looked like the Yoshi Creek pulled out the bucket. Uh, I thought he was predicting the Thoron, but it looks like he still got hit by it. Maybe he released it too early or something. Or uh, maybe he was still in the pulling out animation. Because like it still takes about seven frames or so, I think, okay. before uh, you can actually absorb something. And of course, Game & Watch is up being one of those very strong out-of-shield options. <laughs> in this game, it's a frame two out-of-shield option. Like, he actually is a very hard character to pin down, because you have it coming out at frame two, and then Game & Watch disengages without going into freefall at the same time. Yeah, exactly. You can still try and bait it out to like try and catch a landing instead, but still it's going to be harder to catch Game & Watch as opposed to other characters. This is basically a done deal at this point. We have five stocks to one. Yeah, they're both at bloody percents, but like these are two heavy hitting characters against one of the lightest ones in the game. Yeah. Now, with the addition of a few more characters, now he's not as light, but still, it's a, it's a pretty rough situation for it, Game Watch to be it, in. Yeah, it's because like Pichu and Squirtle got added to the roster. Like that's yeah. the reason why he's not like the third lightest anymore. Yeah. Poor Pichu. <laughs> Every time I see K. Roll that. Whoa. Okay, that was a slick way of making your way back to the stage. Hit <laughs> yeah. the teammate. That's like that's like boss strategies. Oh my gosh, is Yoshi Freak seriously looking for an edge guard at one percent? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. It, it happens. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't I don't fall for it. You you look you take whatever vulnerabilities your opponent gives you, but like Ido was on stage. Was, he just was able to run off and find the down air right afterwards. Yeah. All right, let's see what stage to go to next. But overall, just uh, just kind of falling and Ido doing their thing, and it worked better against uh, Yoshi Freak and Nezuki. Yeah. A lot of discussions happening to, to both teammates. We have ourselves Yoshi's Island as the stage selected. This is actually the first time I've personally seen anybody pick Yoshi's Island in terms of like a set I was commentating. Um, I know it happens here in SoCal a little bit more often. Um, in terms of the stage layout, I actually, not sure if this is the best pick. 
because uh, K. Rule can actually abuse these slants kind of hilariously. Like, if he's at the very ledge and he shoots the cannonball, like, right into those, like, really steep slants, he immediately sucks up the cannonball into his gun, like, and then oh, okay. can, like, shoot it out and, like, start vacuuming and stuff. Um, Yoshi's Island, of course, the smallest stage of we have available. It's both uh, in terms of narrow and in height. So that's going to be something to see, uh, interesting to see as well, because you're going to see K. Rule probably killing a lot earlier. Yeah, I'm actually worried for uh, Yoshi Freak's like survivability on this stage, given yeah. that. Just like that. But just the power of having all this K. Rule armor just being thrown at the opposing team really is making openings for the red team. Right. And Ido uh, fixed his tag, too. Yeah, he did. So there so, we go. Yeah, now, now you can say I beat you with uh, with a different tag. He can still say we took a game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. All right, Ness trying to get some kind of jungle going with that up smash, but I don't know where to be found. Oh man, that's the worst feeling when you put away your like reflecting tool and then your opponent shoots the projectile right yeah. afterwards. That that causes psychic damage. Very brave from Paulin, though. He just knew that he had to wait a little bit more and then threw out the Thoron. Yeah. Because uh, the wall projectile uh, reflectors are a still a very good option. There's still another mix-up that you add on top of it. It's not just like an end-all, be-all. Oh! Uh, yeah, it's not like, automatic. We can, we can beat them, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a coin that your opponent gets the flip, and one of you dies yeah. when it happens. Otherwise, uh, yeah, Fallen once again is able to hold on to his stock really nicely. With the, uh, another two stock lead, really, or I'll say a stock and a half. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Finally going to get down to the threat right there to be able to take the stock. Uh, and actually, uh, Fallen interrupting that combo so that uh, Ido doesn't get juggled further. The uh, the new heavy down smash that like, K. Rool has and stuff is so good for boxing in this game because like you high profile a lot of different options. And I've been seeing Ido do that whenever he's caught by both members of green team, he recognizes how short these characters are. He's like, well, if I down smash, like they have to specifically go in with an anti-air, otherwise I'm hitting them. Yeah. I'm going to be real here. All three of the new heavies have the exact same down smash. They do, yes. Yeah, it is the I, ultimate down smash, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why that's... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I actually hear Miho dying in the audience. That's that's pretty funny. Poor Yoshi. Uh, okay, you were, we were talking about Yoshi being survivability, but he's the one that actually survived longer yeah. than his teammate. Well, let's see how he gets out of this situation. Doesn't look like there's much hope for him. That's going to be a ledge grab. Oh, he uses the up to get through that uh, suction. Yeah, there are, there are invincibility frames on it. That is right. going to help out. And just like that, the bounce off of the wall all right, yeah, oh it? my gosh! Got yeah. the berry. F Fallen just watches from a Fallen distance. Fallen is Fallen like even holding the control. Okay, yeah, he stepped back as soon as Yoshi Freak tried approaching him. Yeah. All righty, Yoshi Freak. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh yes, the technology, the platform drop technology. Yoshi Freak not ready for.